In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a WordPress website on top of a Caddy server, specifically Caddy version 2. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so this is actually a continuation of another tutorial that I have. I just have a basic Caddy installation with a static website. So if you already know how to do that, then you could probably pick up from here. But otherwise, go back and watch that video and then meet me at this point. So. Um, right, right. So I have, uh, like I said, inside of an HTML directory at var www just an index index.html file that shows this at tonyboney.com. So that has all been configured. Um, let's move on to installing WordPress. So let's just double check that uh, Caddy is running with systemctl status Caddy, and it is. And let's just double check our version of Caddy so we can type Caddy version and we are running version 2.4.6. Okay, so we're already in the var www directory. In this directory, let's wget the latest version of WordPress. So https colon slash slash wordpress.org slash latest dot tar dot gz, and that's gonna download that archive file onto our computer. Now, we have that in this directory, let's un archive it, let's uncompress it. We can do that with the tar command. So tar dash x z v f and then the name of the archive latest.tar.gz and that's going to expand everything into the WordPress directory. So we can remove the the tar file now. We don't need that anymore. And what's what's good practice is to change ownerships ownership of the WordPress directory and everything under it recursively to ww data user and www data group and we're going to apply that to uh, the wordpress directory so now if you look at that um, www data user and group owns the wordpress directory and everything under the wordpress directory okay so wordpress is sitting there it's ready to go let's install php next we can do that with apt install php and php MySQL, which is going to be how PHP interacts with MySQL. So um, do you, this is going to take up 26 megabytes of spite, space. Do you want to continue? Yes. Hit enter and we'll let that do its thing. Now you're going to see this failure here. It's trying to start up Apache, but and unfortunately PHP is packaged with Apache. And because Caddy is already running on port 80, which is the HTTP port, it cannot do that. So you see this failure, but it's okay. PHP is installed. We actually don't want any of that Apache stuff because we're using Caddy. So in order to get rid of that, um, anything that it tried to install as far as Apache is concerned, you can type apt purge Apache to star, like an asterisk wildcard kind of thing. And that's going to take out all that uh, all that extra nonsense that we're not going to use. So let's let that do its thing. Okay, so we have Caddy installed, our web server. We have WordPress sitting there ready to go. We have PHP installed. There's one more piece to the puzzle, and that is our MySQL database. So let's do that next. We'll do apt install Maria DB dash server, and Maria DB is uh, a version of MySQL database. So we'll install that 174 megabytes, type Y, hit enter, and we'll let that do its thing. All right, we got a Maria database server on our system. Let's run the MySQL secure installation, hit enter. And this is just a good practice. Uh, it sets down a root password and kind of locks down the default installation. Uh, so I'm gonna type in a root password. And actually I did screw this step up. If there was a root password, you typed it in, but it seems like it took that. So uh, let's just explicitly change the root password. I'm gonna type in a new root password and I'm gonna confirm it. And now pretty much for all these options, we can remove anonymous users, disallow root login automatically or remotely, remove the test database and access to it and reload privilege tables now. And that's good. Now we're done with the MySQL secure installation. Let's go into the MySQL command prompt and create the tables that we need for WordPress. So um, I'll have these linked down below, uh, these commands if you want to copy and paste them. So we're going to create a database called example database. And with the, the default character set that WordPress um, plays well with the best. And then we're going to create a user called example user and that's going to be his password. Please uh, choose your own database names, usernames, and passwords that are strong and secure and make sense for you. Um, we're going to grant privileges for that user, and that's going to look something like this. Grant all privileges on that database, all tables to example user. 
And then finally, we will flush those privileges. And that's all we need to do in here. So we'll get out of the MySQL command prompt. Now, the next thing that we want to do now that we have everything in place is to update our caddy file to tell it that we are now using WordPress. And there's a couple different uh, basic WordPress things that we have to put in our caddy file now. So let's go ahead and edit that. That file, if you remember, is at um, etc caddy capital caddy file. And this is what we had from the last tutorial. So we'll get rid of all this and we'll pretty much just start from scratch again. I have uh, everything that I'm going to paste onto the screen in the description below. So if you want to copy and paste that, you can. So let's paste this in. So I have my URL at tonyboney.com, www.tonyboney.com. Our root is going to be out of the var www WordPress directory. Uh, we did install PHP 7.4. Um, you can confirm that by looking at this directory to see if that exists. We are enabling the file server. We're enabling gzip compression. And then, like I said, these are just some um, uh, WordPress specific sections of the caddy file that you're going to need for it to work. So let's go ahead and save that. And we will apply those changes with system CTL restart caddy. And that looks good. So let's open up a web browser and go to Tony bony.com hit enter and that should load the wordpress setup and it does so let's go through this so english united states that looks good uh, now we're going to configure our database we're going to tell wordpress about the database tables the database that we created so it can create the wordpress tables so uh, what was our database name our database name was example database our username was example user our password was example password data paste host is localhost because it's running on the same machine and you can leave the table prefix wp underscore so we'll submit that and it says all right sparky you made it through this part of the installation let's go ahead and run it and now we can make our wordpress website our own by giving it a site title i'm going to call it tony's blog i'm going to make a username i will keep this password and save it over here so i don't forget what it is and then i'll type my email and click on install WordPress. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and log into our WordPress dashboard with our username and the password that we just created. Log in. And now we have a WordPress website running on top of a caddy server. We can confirm that by going to our homepage. This is what it looks like. I think it's running most likely the, if we go to appearance themes, the 2022 theme. Yep, active 2022. Now, the one last thing I want to do before I send you off on your own is to come into the tools site health section and you can see one or more required modules are missing. Most of these are optional. There's one required one. Uh, this is just a bunch of PHP modules that we'll have to install. So back on the command line in your server, um, you can execute the following command, which will install most of these PHP modules. So hit enter and do you want to continue? Yes. And we'll let that install. Okay, so that has finished. Let's come back in here and see what we're looking like. And it looks like we missed one thing. Oh, PHP zip. So let's install that. All right, and now we should finally be good to go as far as our site health is concerned. And we are. I'm not going to go through everything about customizing WordPress. That's what this video is right here. Check that out next, and I'll see you over there. The one thing that I forgot to tell you is we did do a www domain. I just want to make sure that you go into your Google domains or wherever you bought your domain name from and add another record for www.tonybony.com. Make that an A record and give that the same exact IP address. Save that. You'll be good to go.